Hello. I know I said before you guys get mad at me and start yelling and screaming and throwing tomatoes, just know. I know I said I was going to start at 4.45 and it's 4.43. I apologize. It won't happen again. I don't know. I don't know. Usually I like to start streaming about 10 minutes earlier and then before I actually, like, you know, get on camera to start the video games. But um, I started streaming. I pressed stream at 4.34. Uh, Summersoft came ready with the tomatoes. Usually I started streaming at 4.33. .40, and so I was like, I was like, oh, I'm going to let it go to 4.45 anyway. But then I just felt like it was going on too long. Like I was just like, oh, I went pee. I went to get a water and it wasn't cold because my dad stole the cold water I put in. There was warm water in there because he replaced it with the warm water. And I was like, well, this is all gone to shit. I'm just going to leave. And I went pee and did all my stuff, did my pre-stream checkup. Everything was fine and I'm done and still not 4.45 yet, it's 4.44. So we're just going to have to get started because 10 minutes have already elapsed, folks. Oh, it's 4.45 now. Folks, we can now begin. We can now officially begin the stream. The stream has begun. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. It's Monday, July 26th, 2021. I, every single time I need to read out the date, I have to look at the time on my computer because I never know the date because why would I need to know? That. I'm not in school. I'm not writing the date on my paper. I'm not doing. I'm not going to do math problems. I don't need to turn in the sheet of paper with the date, correct date on it, so that my teacher knows what date it is. And then they go, Angie, you once again wrote 2020 instead of 2021, because we are no longer in the year 2020. Even though it kind of feels like it. it kind of feels like 2020 just kept going in a weird way. Like if some, like if some, like calendarian or archivist whatever if someone was like we're gonna it's just gonna be 2020 part two i'd be like okay like i wouldn't even fight it like i wouldn't even like like raise an objection like excuse me i'd be like okay no it is 2020 part two um i hope you all are staying safe out there uh someone saw says hey squiggly line uh, I hope you all are staying safe out there. Also, hello, Summon Sloth. I saw Tick not in here as well. And anyone else who is lurking or just... I mean, I guess you are lurking if you're not saying anything. If you're just in there. If you're just in here, um, then you are lurking. Which is which is fine. That's perfectly... Like, if you, if you just turn on the stream and you never interact with me, that's perfectly fine. Although I do love it when you guys do chat with me. Um, because that's always fun. It's always fun. Um, I broke my watch today. I had it since 2018, and I mean it's not broken. Like one of the hinges is like cracked, so I'm like I'm gonna try with super glue to see if I can repair it. Um, so you can see the crack right there. That's not how it's supposed to look, and it's like an, it's a little annoying because, um, like, nor like normally you just say, okay I'll just get a new watch. But this is an Android Wear watch, or Wear OS, if you're fancy. And they're coming out with new ones. Like, they're like, Google's redesigning Wear OS because Wear OS sucks. And I say that as someone who owns a Wear OS watch, but it's not a good, like, it's like from, honestly, for me, it's fine, but it's just not as feature forward or intuitive as it should be. So they're redesigning it, and the redesign is coming to the new watches, which have not been announced yet. They're gonna announce it at the end of August. So, like, I, like if I were to buy a new watch, I'd be getting an outdated watch that won't get the new OS update. And so it's like, okay, I gotta wait at least a month. Also, I'm broke. Like, I, I have to wait till I get paid next month anyway. So it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, I gotta survive without a watch for a month. Unless I get it fixed, which I might. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if Crazy Glue works. I'm going to try that first and see if that helps. And if not, then, well, RIP. 
The watch still works. It's just the hinge broke, so I can't wear it. I can wear. I can use that like as a fancy pocket watch. Um, Ticknot says 2020 was not a year for sure. I mean, it was not in in the most literal of terms. It was not, but it was, and we all have to contend with that. Anyway, pause my music because. It'll be hard to hear the sounds of Psychonauts otherwise. Um, let's load that up. I played some more yesterday. Um, oh, something happened. What happened? I don't have... I literally looked away from my stream. Oh, so I got a new follower. Hello, welcome. Thank you for following. I am doing well. I hope you're doing well as well. Um, Azon? Uh, Azon? Azon. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for following. I'm doing very well. Um, I appreciate the follow. You are the 70th, 70th, 70th follower. That is awesome. Thank you for thank you for that follow, friend. Hope you enjoy the stream. I'm booting up. We are booting up into Psychonauts as we speak. As I speak, we're gonna get some Psychonaut in going. That sounds. That's not a good word to use. Psychonaut. Oh, so it doesn't sound good. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta change my scene. Yeah! Um, yeah, we streamed some yesterday. I, I played I played quite a bit yesterday. Um, I got some more powers. Um, ooh, does it? Why does it look washed out? Is that how it's supposed to look? It did not look this washed out yesterday. Oh, because I increased the brightness, I think. That's not good. There's a there's an area in the game where... Um, yeah, oh my god. Yeah, it is the brightness. Well, that's fun. Okay, well... Alright, that looks a little less washed out. That's how old games were. Like you'd increase the brightness a little bit, and like everything would just be blown out. All right, let's get into it. So I played a little bit. We kind of um, yesterday left off on a bit of a cliffhanger. Um, we discovered a nefarious plot to steal brains, and also our um, little girl Lily. I guess is her name. Like. Yep, Lily <laughs> got eaten by a giant monster. Also, Raz is scared of the water. So, like, anytime you get near the water, a uh, little that happens. So, we gotta take a tank into the water. Admiral, sir, did you hear that? The hideous, hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata just kidnapped Lily. Lungfish? So, that's what's been tearing up my canoes. Well, I know just what to do. You do? Great! Yeah, I've got some lungfish proof to lack. I'll just slap on a fresh coat, maybe two, and that's that. Admiral, the monster is still out there, and Coach Oleander is trying to take over the world. Ah, well, yes, the world's a crazy place, son, but, but don't worry. The canoes are safe. Oh, thank God. Yeah, we're gonna get into this contraption because uh, Raz is scared of water. Oh. Also, we fought. We had two boss fights actually. Uh, I'm a little iffy on the game's combat, but the platforming and story stuff has been very good. Combat is like. It's fine, but the biggest issue with the the combat that I've had is the lock on is a bit finicky. Um, it's just I feel like it's just a thing. It's just a thing you have to deal with with old platformers. It's, there'll be something wrong with them unless you're playing Ratchet and Clank, which is a perfect video game. Yep. Let's see if I remember everything. Nope. I didn't need to do that. There's like a we we got a new levitate ability, so I'm gonna try. No, that's not. 
R. Hey, I brown sugar. Thanks for tuning in. Why isn't it working? You're right on time to watch me play some Psychonauts. I like Clank, but only tolerate a ratchet. What? That's a dynamic duel right there. Oh, maybe it doesn't work down here. Huh. I can do this though. That's the new level table. I hope you're doing it well, Alex. I've seen I've seen you've been streaming quite a bit lately. I, I've I've not been tuned into that as of yet, but I'm still gonna give you a bit of I'm still gonna give you a shout out because Brown Sugar is a good friend of mine and she does some awesome streams. So y'all should check her out when you have a minute. Wait, let me see if I even remember the command for a shout out. Might, I might mess it up, but. I brown sugar. Does that work? Nope. Maybe it has to be all be lowercase. Let's try that. Anyway. Yeah, there we go. Check her out if you have time. Thanks for tuning in. We're dropping through, dropping by, saying hello, etc. Um, it's my last week of vacation, so I I set my alarm to wake up early because I I um this is a cool level. I like how the fish are like crawling towards the water. Can't get a good grip. I'm gonna help him. Lurking while playing. Are you still playing Black Ops? That's the new. That's the that's the newest one, right? I almost said Modern Warfare, but I think that's that was last year. wanting to get back into Apex Legends. They put out the new trailer for um, uh, the new the upcoming season. And every time they put out a trailer for uh, an upcoming season, I'm always like, okay, this is when I'm going to get back into it. And then I don't. Like, usually my uh, consistent shooter is Destiny, but it does not run well on my computer during the summertime. So I can't because I'm, I'm on a laptop and it gets too hot. It's literally, literally the only game that I I play where that happens. It kind of sucks. I would like to I would like to max out my battle pass before the new season in a few in a few weeks, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But it's whatever. Am I going the right way? Do I have to ring this bell? Oh, I just had to get on it. Everything about the look of this game is just so Nickelodeon. Even more so than Double Fine's okay. other games. Cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. And I, it might, it might just be the fact that um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't get a good grip. Says it's time, probably in reference to this horrible monster that I have to fight. Man. 
Seriously? Can't get a good grip. Throw stuff in his mouth. Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good. Can't get a good grip. Box. Can't get a good grip. Can't get a. Can't get a good grip. I wonder if he can get a good grip. Something I am missing. No, I don't think you can get a grip. I don't think so either. Do I have to use fire? hit him so clearly I'm supposed to be using my levitation on him but alright that one hit him like that was a direct hit so was that Maybe it's these heavier boxes? No. Nope. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. Remember that episode of Spongebob where some dude said he ate a bowl of nails for breakfast? No. I don't doubt that happened though. I think there was a boss fight in Control that was basically this. What I'm trying to say is Control, Copy Psychonauts. I don't know what I'm supposed to do! Like the box, I, I'll throw a box and it'll just go through him. You're trying to give me a hint. Do I need to get sucked up? No. Can't get a good grip. Wait, never mind. Yeah, I'll throw I, I throw right at him and he just eats it. Also, all this other debris is getting in. Suction do the work. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like light them on fire so that he eats fire. Oh, I'm dead. I think that's what I'm supposed to do, right? I just light stuff on fire and then he eats the fire stuff. And then it hurts him. Uh, yep, that's it. That's what you gotta do. That's the only thing that is that's the only thing that is working. The problem is lighting it while he's doing it. Oh, I got outside. Oh, he don't like that. Eat it! Eat it! Wait, that didn't work either. He ate the fire one. He just ate those. What? Oh! Can't get a good grip. Oh. It's basically those, um, levels from, um, Crash Bandicoot. Except you're not running at the camera. Yep. Oops! That went too far. That was a problem. Alright, let's try again. We want to go fast, but we don't want to go too fast because if you go too fast, you end up outside of the water. Wait, where am I going now? What? Yes. Thank you. 
sorry. I wanted some lobster. Oh, I do, I do like how the plants sort of fall over when the water leaves. Also, even though I have been really annoyed with this boss fight so far, I do appreciate that it's not an underwater combat sequence. I might be speaking too soon, but there's never been a video game where they've done that well. I'm glad, you know. I just killed it. Definitely something I'm missing. Also, this game usually does a thing where like it'll like annoy you with hints until you figure it out, but it's just letting me suffer. If you have a hint, but like you can't be like the Riddler with the hint either. Like you gotta like just tell me like you, like point me in the right direction. Just smash it. Smash what? What? Just go up to it and hit it? Just smash the box when the fish sucks. Oh. What? How was I ever supposed to figure that out? What, so it's... What? It just eats a bunch of... Oh, the nails! There's nails in there! Oh. Ugh. No fancy tricks. Yeah, I was never gonna figure that out. <laughs> Oh, that explains how I did it on accident the first time, though, because I was just blowing them up. You understand how to be my hint guy now? Well, I appreciate that. I'm not good with hints. Like, like I, I like figuring things out when I can, but as soon as I'm like, okay, just help me out, then I'm like, don't... Don't confuse me, because I get confused. And I will get confused. So I did so bad in math. Like, all these letters and stuff, and it's like, I don't... This is hard. Hi. Like, what kind of 
of sense does it make? Oh, 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 I, I fucked up. Like, it doesn't really make sense, you know, that someone could eat a box of nails, but also they can't just eat the nails raw. Like, what? what, what? I get it. It's a platformer from 2005. Rails. Nope. Okay. Can't get a good grip. Now it's here. Watch it. That was it. Not my best dodge. I'll keep pyrokinesis on. I have no health. I lose all my lives. Because this game uses lives for some reason. know when you're ready for the next hit. <laughs> Alright. Let me attempt to figure it out. I'm pretty sure I have to target that red glowy bit. The question is how? Whipping his hair back and forth. Bunch of crabs went around. Alright, let me see it. Maybe, maybe now I need levitation. Can't get a good grip. Maybe something to do with the clams. A bunch of clams. My bullets, they do nothing. What's the next hand? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to die, but... Down to my last life. Unless I get one more after this. Your fists. I just punch it. Okay, 
is happening? Did I punch the clams? What am I supposed to punch? Oh. Uh oh. I'm not sure what happened there. I guess it is. I guess I just. I do just lead it into the clams. Alright. I knew the clams were. How do I catch it in the. Oh, there we go. Hit them. I didn't realize I could just hit them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> start all over <laughs> well you know what folks sometimes you win some the creatures prints are still glowing sometimes you don't well at least now I know what to do thanks to some of sloth for the guidance yep. Get back over there. It should not take as long as now that I know what to do. Those chase sequences, though, that might be a bit too lengthy, but whatever. Suck. Well, we got plenty for it to suck, right? We'll give it plenty to suck. Kind of funny going back to these old platformers because like hey, I think I see a piece of teriyaki salmon jerky over there in that clam. Why don't you go eat that instead? There's definitely some fun like oh yeah this is how they used to do it huh? It's just like oh just keep going until you figure out the mystery how to damage this boss. Unless you're playing Super Mario, in which case it's just you just jump on their head. <laughs> you do it three times. Rules of three. Rules of three, folks. It's um, probably why I preferred Ratchet and Clank, because you, you would just shoot the bad guy. <laughs> I'm just like, I could do this. This, this freshwater lake coral is so pretty, I just want to smash it. Why is it still floating? Hip. Yep. Oh, at least I 
least it's leading me up like this area where like traversable and has places for me to run along instead of like you know some places actually dangerous you know this thing moves so slow it moves fast when I'm fighting it but right now it's just so slow, like, come on, let's get on with it already. Jeez Louise. Oh, we're almost there. Alright, there we go. Freaking crabs, man, or lobsters. <laughs> Oops, I broke all of the boxes. Oh, oh start sucking. I know what sucks. This boss, am I right? Please don't sue me. Bad jokes are bad, but they're not illegal. Yes. Boo me all you want, but you can't boo the truth, folks. Right, see, that one landed right in front of me. That's not fair. How's that fair? Just a slow chase. Alright. Meet again. Oh, well, oh, still gonna go around. Alright. Yes. Oh, yeah. I have to go down the staircase or something. Like Also, for being an old platformer, and again, I might be speaking too soon, but you know, I, have, I haven't really had many issues with the camera. It's mostly like just the lock on stuff, but like the actual camera has been fine. Even the best platformers from this age, from this um, period, have not had great cameras or get great camera controls. It was always weird to me. Like, as soon as we got that second analog stick, it was like, okay, well, problem solved, right? And no, it took a while. It's kind of rare nowadays, though, to play a game with a bad, like a truly awful camera, though. It still happens, but I, I don't know. I, I feel like you don't really hear about that as like a, what the hell I got on the freaking rail? Okay, you, um, but um. You don't really hear about that, like, as, like, a major criticism in, like, reviews for platformers. Then again, we don't really get a lot of old-school platformers like this anyway, anymore, so that might be part of it. Is it a timing thing? What is... Watch it. Watch it. I gotta figure out, like, how I exactly need to get... Do I just need to roll through there? I don't know what I did differently, but it worked. Maybe I just, maybe I do just use the levitate. Oops. Or no, I just have to get it directly in there. It's fine. Extremely not mad. I'm trying to get this health before it disappears, but... Nope, 
See? It's like, what is the time? Ah! I'm stuck! Let's try this again. Hey. Don't think too hard about mental health hiccups being in the physical world. Okay. Watch it. Honestly, it's mostly just timing on the clam shells. I, I feel like every time I've done it, it's just been random. This time. Alright, let's see if this works. Nope. Oh. Alright, that time it worked. Alright, finally. Punch the heck out of this disgusting fish thing. Aw, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Oh, no. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the cycle portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! It sure didn't feel that way. It just ate Lily. Can't get a good grip. This level is great. Okay, I'm looking forward to a great level. Y'all know how much I love a great level. Whoa. The regular old Metropolis. And there it is. Oh, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And oh, good silly. day to you, Officer Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, it's silly. Obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all stupid. That's dumb. I hate and love this. <laughs> Alright, free the lungfish. Ah, of course. Oh, got a, got a pigment up here. Uh, another astral projection layer, aka a life, because this game has that. I wasn't gonna destroy anything, but then I remembered games. The orphanage. Games like this didn't have like morality. Down here. It's like, oh, you get the bad ending if Excuse you do bad me. stuff. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh my God. Ah. <laughs> Are you okay? He's dead. Oh, geez, I'm um, sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the resistance <laughs> is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Cochamara. What's Cochamara? He's a giant monster like so. you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, 
Have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogolor. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, Gogolor? I, she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogolor. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogolor! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Alright. Freedom! 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 <laughs> hoo -ya! Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us Ooh, to operate, but it fancy. should work for you. Shield! Got our, got our next Pokemon badge, folks. I kind of wish the, I mean, whatever. I can just look in the hey, menu. Is this gonna upset Cochamera and all your little brainwashed? I kind of wish like the ones I already have stay lit up. I doubt it. Uh, no, no. <laughs> so, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogolor? Someone says ACAB, which... What navy? Course, Meet us obviously. at the dam, Gogolor. For freedom! Use your fight... Use your fight kick, oh my god. Use your Psychic Skilled. Use your Psychic Shield to protect you from damage and reflect some energy enemy attack. Oh my god. Enemy attacks back at the attacker. Note, you will not be able to maintain a Psychic Shield forever. When this part of your mind is exhausted, you will need to wait a while before you use it again. So we're on a regular old recharge. I like the sound it makes, okay. Oops, no. Ah, Oops! So sorry, oh my god, I... Oh my god! The orphanage! That was not the orphanage, shut up. I, I fell in water. The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gogolor. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Can or better. Good? We love a good, um... We love a good state-run media, folks. Right, find that duffel bag tag. Test out. Ah, time in. Do it. Oh, I can pick them up. Can I throw them? It was just a mattress factory. Yes, I can. It was just a mattress factory. <laughs> Oh, 
breaking news. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalor. On drugs? Surface <laughs> information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gagalor broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, Whoa. They're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnapping children do not harm the brains. Hey, this is the sex work positive stream, folks, okay? If someone wants to get a low-cost escort. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of mattress factories out here. Defi I'm definitely gonna get the bad ending after this, folks. Or if we gotta sleep on something. That's true. Uh, that is actually tragic. You don't want to destroy the Natural History Museum. There's a lot, so much natural history, so much, so many taxidermied animals and whatnot. Electric guys are no joke. Oops. I mean, why, why am I saying oops? <laughs> no, not the Natural History Museum. Too nice. I'm like, oh no, I, I accidentally hurt these fake creatures. Let's see if I can land this. Close enough. Oh, it's a different tag. Okay. Probably somewhere around here then. I right, grabbed the tag, right? Yeah, okay. So it needs a different tag. Let's see another one. See one. Maybe there's one in water? I don't think that's gonna work. Why? I wanna roll around. Oh! Holy smokes! Those goggles are 5,000 meters tall! Dodged them. Suck it! Well, let me go check over here. Ooh! That's, that's right, that's where the lasers are. Well, you know what? Sometimes I forget things. Okay, folks? Soft redeemed. Share a made-up fact for 700 points. All right. Did you know that alligators are known to shop exclusively at J. Crew? Not a lot of people know this, but when it comes to fashion wear, alligators love to look very preppy. Um, you know, like chinos, 
polos, that sort of thing. Even though, like, you know, they're known for, like, living in marshy areas. They like to look a little fancy when they have to go out. Our noble whole volunteer navy has been surprised. This is a true fact about alligators. Lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature. Still they do not wear alligator print, though. Oh, it loves violence in all its forms. The navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Not get caught stealing children. Good to know. I was. I didn't realize I was that low on health. My right. tank. Right, I guess I guess I gotta dodge those. My cheese shop. Whoa, okay, those things do a lot of damage. I guess I just have to use my shield then. Because I was trying to dodge them. Ah! Oh my god. I'm so sorry! So watch it. I'll go take out your laser tunnel, but then we're gonna talk about who's running this revolution. Revolutions are always built on hope. I'm trying to get to that Kochamra Tower thing so I can smash it. The laser tunnel, Gagalore. We have to get through that or we'll never get to Kochamra Island. Can I go in the water? I see that. Psychic power. Anything in here? Oh. Nope. <laughs> Just people fling. Where's that other tag for the for the duffel bag? I found it. I found a tag, but it's not for that duffel bag apparently. Let me double check and make sure. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Yeah, okay. Maybe he's deeper in the level. Yeah, there's nothing over here. In the water. Alright, let's go. Laser tunnel time. Attack. All right, that's probably it. Die! All right, let's go give this tag to that duffel bag. We'll 
be on our merry way. Oh my god, I love that scream. That's like one of my favorite canned screams. The, ah! I want I want to have like a soundboard. Maybe this is like a year 2022 purchase. Like I want to have like a soundboard for, for like dumb sound effects and dumb screams that I could just press. Like I want to get the damn son, where'd you find this? I want to get that on the soundboard. I want to get various screams and just out of context voice sa voice samples. You know, the works. Because that sort of thing is funny. Freedom! 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 The third guy freedom! just... Freedom! Like, freedom! So, this big monster, is freedom. that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison long. <laughs> He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. Okay. We're heading back over there, I guess. Uh oh, I spot I spot with my little eye a very sad bag. Alright, really we don't need to watch that whole thing. If anyone would like to explain to me why there are duffel bags, missing tags. Like, what's the connection to brain stuff at all? If there is one, because it's like it's like of all the stuff in this game, it's probably the most random thing. But I'm sure once it's explained to me, it'll make perfect sense. You know, it's, I just don't know why. It just you know, it's, just one of those it's just one of those things. Yep. No! I hate you, Gogalore! Emotional baggage. Oh, there you go. Alright. I knew once it was explained, it makes sense. That did make sense, so thank you. Take not. Yeah, I would, I would have never figured that out. I was just like, why are there bags here? Why is there luggage here? All over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Lungfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. Winning over the hearts and minds is so dumb. decent but inexpensive printer within the week. Come up with a better plan than the pamphlets yet? Yes, it's called Turn In Gogalore for Reward Money. Pick it! Hey! Hey! Put it. Hey! What are you doing up there? Careful! My chai tea! <laughs> No. Knock it off. No. Maybe this game is kind of funny. Does he usually run like this? <laughs> there you go. 
Astral Layer Restored. We're well on our way to restoring the Astral Layer. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Got another turret or Y'all hear that? Something nefarious is afoot. Die! Well, we're, we're, we're some dense, more densely packed city now, folks. Oh, well, oh, we got sea monsters back. Okay. I guess we're scared of the water again. Or maybe it's just deep water. I would like to get this, please. There we go. You know what would be cool is if the enemy attacks would also damage buildings. Ooh, aggre aggressive capacity increase. You may store more side blast shots now. Okay. I feel, like I, I feel like I don't really use them all that often anyway. But whatever. This is pretty early in the game, relatively speaking. Oh, missile. Missile. Leave me alone. I'm just mis misunderstood. Understood. You've killed hundreds. That's not true. That's propaganda. Don't believe everything you read in the media. Okay. In my opinion. I've only killed like tens, millions, hundreds. No. I'm like thinking. I killed maybe nine tops. Proper Uganda. Unacceptable. Ooh, look at that. Wait, that was cheating. I was on the other side of this. <laughs> of that tunnel. Whatever. Win some, you lose some. Die from these things. Their attacks are too effective. Right, that was bullshit.
assuming this just leads back here. Yep. Okay, so I guess I have to go over that bridge. Oops. More tanks. Ah. I'm over here, health. Oh, so my attacks don't reach, but their attacks do. How's that fair? Climb over this bridge. Wait, this. Can't be a monster movie without an attack on a bridge. Oh, I didn't even know I found something. Lungfish and Lobato. Oh, I was just watching some TV. And he got caught. <gasps> no! <gasps> Sergeant's there. I forgot his name. He's there and he's grinning evilly. Aw, oh, man. That's not nice. This art looks like... Um, I don't know if any of y'all read um, Captain Underpants. This art really reminds me... Like the not not like of the main gameplay, but like these little mini comics you find. I don't know if any of y'all ever watched the Captain Underpants movie. It's actually really good. It's actually really good. The books are also good. I really enjoy them growing up. Saw says, I read the books. Good books. I remember there's one joke that will always just live rent free in my mind. Um, like the, I think it's in the third book. Like uh, aliens take over the cafeteria, and two of the aliens have like really weird names. It's like Floorbor and Clickson, and then the third one's name is just Jennifer. And I remember just thinking that was like peak comedy. I was like, this is so funny. This is the funniest thing. Why has no one ever thought of that? <laughs> no, I'm not. What? Come on. Get out of town. Why time the Navy electrocute him? I, I tried, I timed wrong. But yeah. I got the underpants movie though. Pretty good. It came out a few years ago. I think Kevin Hart voices the black boy. I forgot his name. I remember the white boy is named Harold. I forgot who voices him though. I can just jump here. What the hell? I'm like trying to time it. Okay. I need to get over. Breaking news. We're here with now Kevin Hart. Okay, look, Kevin Hart sucks, but first of all, this movie came out like way before we realized how much. Actually, that's not true. We kind of knew he sucked, but he's actually actually like it's animated, so whatever. I can't imagine anyone of my Just pretend it's not him voicing him. The, the movie's actually really everything good. Lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. 
airplanes. So rest assured, we can all look forward to Goggalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. What? Goggalore, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel to get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara Tower. The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Goggalore, we, uh... uh we just think it best to do where, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Goggalore. Yes, that, and for freedom. The voice acting is pretty good. Alright, looks like we're doing a bit of climbing, we're doing some scaling. This is some Tomb Raider shit. Uncharted shit, etc. Ow! I'm gonna die. I died! What the heck? I'm supposed to be invincible! I'm supposed to be unstoppable! Alright, there's two planes left anyway. Whatever. I just can't stop Goggora. Goggora? Stop nerfing giant monsters! This is Godzilla vs. Kong all over again. Let me do destruction unharmed. Now, where are the planes? Uh oh, someone's sad. <laughs> oh. No, oh, get up, up, up! <laughs> I am just. There you go. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Oh, uh, yesterday night. I was, I was deciding what movie I should watch, and I decided, just on a whim, to watch Train to Busan. Yay. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's a good movie. I don't have much else to add after that, but... I love that movie. My only issue, and this is like a minor spoiler, I'm not gonna spoil... I mean, it's a zombie movie. Not much to spoil anyway, but my major issue is that like there is there is a there is an antagonistic character and he was just too much. Like that was that was like that was it for me. Also, there's like a not a third act but an end of second act thing that happens that felt a bit rushed. Like like will this have happened the way it happened? Um, but aside from that, it's it's very effective. And that it's a pretty damn cool movie. With zombies. Also, it's like one of the rare zombie movies that just doesn't annoy me to no end. And part of the reason for that is like like zombies as just as a villain. I just it's hard for me to just suspend my disbelief. The only time zombies Okay, I got it. Monsters in the water. The only time zombies work for me in movies or in media at all is when they are like the ones in Train to Busan, when they're just infected, you know? It's not, and they're not eating, they're just infected. It's like, 
Okay, this is a disease that makes people go crazy and they spread it around, but like not the flesh eating ones. Well, well these ones bit into flesh, but the they didn't physically eat people. Because like that just doesn't make sense to me. Losers. Now, I feel like a, vir a virus wouldn't spread that fast to zombies to like that. Authorities are calling for a Because then the zombies would just like, honor. how long would it take to eat a person? <laughs> Like in The Walking Dead. Promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often. No drool so much. Okay. I didn't get any of that. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's just annoying that, um... Hey, everyone! Here comes Cochamera! Cochamera? Monster on monster violence. But yeah, like Walking Dead, like the zombies, just, they like eat so fast and they're smart when they need to be smart and then dumb when they need to be dumb. Whereas the zombies in Train to Busan are like super consistent. Ooh, splits. I can't do that. Oh, that thing's bigger than me. Uh oh. Give up while you can, Gargalore. I know it's you in there, Coach. I don't know where you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. The camera does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. Please. Ram! Keep doing that. Mm. Nope. Sasha showed you how to save up your aggressive energy, huh? Well, why don't I help you? Let it all out. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> no. Ow. Hard to avoid area attack is pretty really intricate combination. Hard to avoid area attack. Ooh, oh, oh. Bitch. Try to he tried to make me run out the clock. Ow. Early intricate combination. No! Yes. Area attack. Boom. Got him. Boom. That's good. And you got a little mental health bouncing in your balls. Oh, it's gone. People of Unfishopolis, I'm sorry I let you down. <sighs> Finally. Okay, Tower. Get ready for Goggle. All right. Well, he was evil, but he did build a lot of roads. Suck it, suck it. Mm. 
Alright, let me save before something bad happens and I have to do that again. Alright, we'll see what's that. We'll, we'll see what's... We'll, if we rescue Lily. And then... Yeah, probably, I'll probably call it after we're done with this sequence. This was fun! Except for that boss fight I, had, I struggled with earlier. How do I get up here? Oh, I just climbed it. This game's good. It is out on Xbox and PC. I'm, play I'm playing the Game Pass, the Windows 10 version, which is on Game Pass as well. But yeah, I'm gonna... Uh-oh. I thought he was dead! Ooh. Ha! That's what I wanted, fool. Idiot. Why? Take control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nap children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl. <laughs> I said classic. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl too. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Good one. Got him. We saved the city. Human child. <laughs> who is that? It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Behind you? Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul. And now I shall repay you. Powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay. Show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> Wait, that, that's literally what he did to Lily, though. your wish to travel across the lake, you may return to either shore and summon me with that. Thanks, hulking lungfish. You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. Got it. What a magical lady. <laughs> what a magical lady is a very fun thing to call someone. All right, we're we're making our way through. So, yeah, I'm going to call it here. That'll be that'll be it for today's stream. Got a little psycho knot and done. That still sounds very wrong. Um, I'm yeah, I'm having fun with it. I mean, you know, sometimes you get into the spots where you bump up against the old game design. Not game, not game design. Like old, you know. That's how that's how things used to be. Like adventure games used to be so <sighs> esoteric and. Platformers used to be like, oh, gotta figure out what to do. Like, you know, there's just some old design language in in older games, but you know, even even that aside, I'm still having a lot of fun with Psychonauts. Um, I may play tomorrow. I'm gonna be a little busy tomorrow, but I might play in the morning. If not, I will see you on Wednesday and Thursday. I'm gonna. I plan to play through the rest of the week and get as much of this done as possible. Um, I doubt, I doubt I'll finish Psychonauts this week. We'll see if, like, they said it's about 12 hours if you just kind of rush through the main, um, storyline. Sorry, I'm getting Slack notifications. Um, actually, yeah, if, 
I just got a message, so I'm probably not gonna stream tomorrow. Um, so I'll, I'll see y'all on Wednesday. If, I doubt, I doubt I'll be able to finish it this week, but um, I'm not in a rush to finish it either. Like I know Psychonauts 2 comes out at the end of August, but like I don't care if I finish it before then. Like I'm not in a rush to play Psychonauts 2. Like it's it's just a little, it's just a little goal. Like I'm gonna play Psychonauts 2 regardless. Like It'll, it'll either be when it comes out or it'll be a few weeks later, but but yeah, that was fun. Um, thanks to everyone who dropped in. Thanks again to Azon, Azon, Azon for following. Thanks again to those who tuned in. I Brown Sugar, Summon Sloth, Ticknot, who are with me in the chat. For any lurkers out there, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back um, probably Wednesday. I was I wanted to stream every day this week, but um, I made plans last minute for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'll just see I'll just see y'all Wednesday. We'll do, we'll get some more Psychonauts in. Have a good time. Um, yeah, have a good have a good Monday, all um everyone. Mondays can sometimes suck, but hey, you know they don't have to, you know. They could, be, they could be fun too. So, you know, go outside, touch some grass. <laughs> people use it people use that as an insult, but I'm using it as a compliment. You deserve to touch some grass, friend, unless you have allergies. In which case, just go sniff the air unless you live in a heavily polluted area. In which case, just look out your window. <sighs> you can find me on Twitter, twitter.com slash song13. I also have a Discord if you want to, if you would like to join the Discord. You're more than welcome to, friends. Um, also, I'm on Instagram, instagram.com slash j13. Same name as this channel. Uh, that's going to do it for me. Make sure you're following. If you haven't already, if you would like to subscribe, I would love that, but you don't have to. Just a little suggestion, 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 suggestion. I'm going to go eat dinner. Have a good night, everyone. I'll talk to you later. See you. Don't want to be you. Have a good night.